project. So based on popular demand by you guys and a lot of requests, I decided to do another Pinterest to the test nail edition. If you want to see my previous nail polish video, then I'm going to link it down below. Check it out if you want. Also, leave some comments down below of any suggestions that you have or something you want me to try because I love reading them and I love testing out new things. So without further ado, let's get testing! So the first one that I want to try out is the Marble Nail Art. I've seen it all over Pinterest and people claim that you don't need to be a nail artist to do this. So let's see if they're right and we'll put them to the test. So first thing, I started off with painting my nails white so that way the nail polish stands out a little bit better. Also what you're going to need is room temperature water and I got different uh, types of brands of nail polish. You want to make sure the nail polish that you're going to choose is not goopy and you're going to need some toothpicks. So let's start! I've never tried this before so let's see what's going to happen. So apparently we're supposed to put one drop of each nail color into the water. circles if you want it to expand more just shake it shake it up once you have the colors that you want you want to make it into a web now every time you cross over you're gonna to want to wipe it with a, a cotton ball uh, just because it's gonna get sticky so let's do this Put your place your finger right down into the water and then leave it to soak in and then while it's soaking in you want to grab a q-tip and then it's gonna grab everything else the excess remaining that's what's supposed to happen so let's see if this is gonna work so here we go gonna dip it in Q-tip, I'm just gonna grab all the excess remainder. Wow, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like glue, it all sticks in together. Look how cool that is. I can already see a nice pattern. Will it show up on my nail? Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! That is pretty funky, I gotta admit. So I guess all we have to do now is just take out all the excess around my nail and we're done. Let me clean it up real quickly and show you guys. Final outcome, I really love how it turned out. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much, but it's gorgeous and I'm assuming whatever colors you choose that, that will play a role in it in whatever design that you do. So remember, once you're done, you're going to need to put a top coat like for any nail polish that you do. So I'm going to just do that really quickly. That is all. Challenge Pinterest a little bit, step it up a notch, and I want to try to put in two fingers at once and see if that does the same trick or not. So let's see if it's going to work out. I chose different colors and different brands. If you want to know the brands that I use, then just comment down below. The, to the toothpick, you don't want that at all, and I'm really scared right now to put take the toothpick out because ah. So remember, be super super light on your hand, and keep wiping the excess nail polish. Moment of truth. Are you ready? Bam! Ooh, that is gorgeous! I love how these turned out. They are 
so gorgeous. Pinterest was right, you don't need to be a nail polish expert to do this. It's, just, it's so simple, you just need to have nice beautiful colors that are not goopy, that's the main key um, tip that I would have. And also make sure to have, to have a white coat underneath, that way it makes the colors pop. So I highly recommend this, I give this a thumbs up and it definitely is a Pinterest pass. I give this a 10 out of 10 because I had no problems with this at all and the instructions were perfect. So definitely try so it out. The second Pinterest myth that I want to test out is how to make your nail polish look matte because I don't know if you've seen the, the latest trend where they have matte nail polish then they have like a strip across that is like bright gold or silver. It looks pretty cool. This is how it would should look like. So there's two ways of doing it. One is you can buy the co-mattifying nail polish, which I haven't tried yet. I'll try it out now for you guys. And the second way is to use cornstarch with your nail polish. Um, I didn't think you would use cornstarch to make beautiful nail polish, but uh, let's give it a shot. So the first thing you're gonna do is paint the nail polish the color that you want. So in this case, I'm going to choose the black nail polish color just like they had in the Pinterest and let it dry out. So I put in two coats of nail polish just like I normally do and you can see that it's still kind of glossy and we'll see if this method is going to mattify it. I prepared some cornstarch and I'm going to add in a top coat on the side and then we're going to mix them together and blend them really well and then place it over the finger just like a top coat. Just so you know, I'm using a baking sheet. Don't worry, I'm not using the actual table. But you knew that, of course. I'm going to mix in the cornstarch with the clear coat. So let's mix it in and blend it well. All right, so once you have this white gooey texture, then you wanna place it over your finger, just like a clear coat. You don't wanna put too much. Once it dried out, um, it didn't fully become matte compared to another one. Like, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and give it one more shot. I'm gonna add in a little bit more cornstarch and try another finger and see how that turns out. So here's the final outcome of how it dried out. Um, I think the second time when I added more cornstarch, it kind of toned it down. I wouldn't say it completely made it matte. If you compare it to the original, this is how the original nail color is, and this is with the cornstarch. So now I'm going to try the second method, which is to actually purchase a top coat that mattifies the nail polish. This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna place it over this finger and see how it turns out. Wow, look at that. You can clearly see the difference. I only put one coat of this nail polish and I definitely see the difference. Just to give you an idea of how the other, other ones are compared to this. So this one's really more on the white side. This one I can still see it being glossy, whereas this one is completely matte. So what's my verdict? Well, when it comes to using the cornstarch, not so much. I would give it a three out of 10, just because I didn't get the final look that I wanted. It kind of looked uh, more on the whiter side. It actually just toned it down versus mattifying it. But if you want to spend a little bit more, then definitely invest into this coat nail polish, top coat. And I believe I got it for about $9 from the drugstore, and uh, it's definitely worth it. This one definitely gets a 10 out of 10. So last but not least, I want to figure out a way to 
get a DIY makeup brush cleanser for my brushes instead of continuously buying different uh, brush cleansers. So I found this recipe, I guess, you could say, on Pinterest and I want to give it a shot. So for this DIY, all you need are three simple ingredients, olive oil, dish soap, and a little bit of water. In terms of the quantities, you want to make sure that these two ingredients are equal and then you're just going to mix it into the water. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got the dish soap in there, that's one and the olive oil. So using your brush, you want to just dip it into the mixture and make sure it's all blended really well. You're going to notice it's going to get a little bit soapy and the water is going to get dirty because uh, it removes all the excess from your brushes or at least that's what it's supposed to do. So good luck little brush! So I can clearly see that my makeup is all coming out of the brush because the water color definitely changed. It's, it's more of my foundation that I can see. So just keep mixing that in there. So once you're done swishing through this mixture and you feel like most of the makeup is, has gone out, then you want to run it under warm water and let it dry out. It looks brand new, pretty clean and white when you compare it to this dirty old brush. I love it. One more step that I usually do when I clean out my brushes, I bought these nets from eBay. They're about 99 cents for a pack of maybe 20 of them. So the idea is if you have a brush, if your brushes are kind of like not straight how they should be, if they're starting to stick out, what this net does is while it's drying out, it puts the brush back together and uh, it's pretty pretty cheap so why not do it so, and just slide it over so you can see how the net kind of protects the brush and puts it back to the shape that it's supposed to be and just let it dry out just like I did for my other brushes so what's my final verdict on this brush cleanser I give it a thumbs up it worked it brought my brush back to normal um, just like when I use my brush cleanser that I buy from the drugstore so it definitely does the job I would give this an 8 out of 10 the only reason is because the oil in it uh, it made the texture or the texture of the brush feel kind of oily so I have to really rinse it much more than I would normally do and I'm not sure if there's still oil left on the brush itself so it might be an issue if you have oily skin but I'm not, I'm not sure how that would turn out but overall, if you wanted to clean your brushes, then it's definitely going to do the job. So I hope you guys liked this type of video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this and it helped you out. And don't forget to press that subscribe button down below if you want to watch any more videos like this. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or if there's a pin that you want me to try out on Pinterest because I would love to give it a go. And um, I also have new social media accounts, so feel free to follow me down. Um, I'm going to list them in the comment section below. So hope you guys have a lovely day, and, and that's it for today.